you could walk in place here if this feels good. Thinking about reaching your hips up towards the sky, letting your heels release down, but it's okay if they don't touch the mat. They don't have to. And thinking about really lengthening your spine and releasing your head. Take a couple more breaths here. And then we'll gently walk our hands back towards our feet, coming into a standing forward fold at the back of our mat. So if you need to, adjust where your feet are if you want to bring them closer together. And then take a couple breaths in the forward fold. Or if you're taking care of your low back and it feels better to stay halfway up, you could do that as well. So up to you, just exploring either Uttanasana, the forward fold, or Ida Uttanasana, half lift. And now from here, let's bring our hands to our hips, wherever you are, and with a nice long spine, lifting with the top of your head, coming all the way up to standing. And then when you come up to standing, take a moment to shake it out and just finding your mountain pose now. But I like to take a moment just to kind of settle. And in mountain, thinking about maybe feet about hip distance apart, but if you like to do it with feet together, you're always welcome to do that. Think about lifting all of your toes for a moment. So pressing down through the balls of your feet, lift all your toes, see if you can spread them apart, and then place them slowly back down, which can be hard to do. They kind of just tend to flop back down. And then doing a few shoulder rolls here, inhaling up, exhaling back, and then letting your shoulders rest down and your palms turn out, engaging the muscles of the legs, drawing the navel in, reaching the top of the head up. And just taking a few moments here in Tadasana in Mountain, following your breath in and out, repeating your intention. And let's just take a half sun salutation from here. So we're going to inhale our arms up. We're going to keep both arms up, and we're just going to exhale over to the right. Just a side stretch with both arms up. Inhale up through center. Exhale over to the left. Inhaling up, maybe slightly gazing up at the leaves of the trees, and then exhale, folding, diving down, hinging from your hips. Back to Uttanasana. Inhale up halfway again, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold back in one more breath, and then inhale your arms out like wings. Bring them all the way out and up overhead, and then back through heart center. Back to Anjali Mudra, check in with your intention, and then releasing them down. So from here, let's work with a few different standing poses. So let's take a big step forward with our right leg and we're going to bend into a lunge and come right into warrior two so i'm going to modify with my back knee down but you can always do it with the back leg out and your back foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat and you're lunging into your right knee your arms are extended your gaze comes over your right middle finger shoulders relax and check in if you're really leaning forward, pull back a little bit so your torso is lined up over your hips. And then from here, we're going to reverse our warrior. So we're going to bring our left hand down our back leg. Inhale, reach our right arm up, still lunging in the right knee. Good. And then exhale now. We're going to come, did it bucket you? Yep. Oh. Bring your right forearm to your right thigh and reach your left arm overhead towards the front. There's some bug spray too on the table if anyone needs it. And then from here, we're going to come back to warrior two. So we're going to move through these three poses. We're going to inhale, reverse our warrior. Exhale, we're going to come back to side angle where our right forearm comes to our thigh. Our left arm can either reach overhead or forward over your left ear. And then inhale to warrior two again. Take an exhale here as well. And then one more time, inhale, reverse. 
exhale, side angle. And inside angle, notice if your top shoulder, your left shoulder starts rounding down, see if you can open up your shoulder, maybe even gazing up. Good. And then from here, we're gonna come back to warrior two. We're gonna play with some a balance pose now. So from warrior two, we're gonna try half moon. Ardha Shandrasana, we're gonna bring, and you could use a block here if you wanted. Your right hand's gonna come down towards the like pinky side edge of your right foot in front of it. And then you're gonna lift off off your back leg. You could then your right hand could be on a block. And your left arm can reach up or it could be on your hip. Right. Opening up towards the playground here. Still maintaining that deep, even breath. And then we're gonna see if we can slowly transition back to warrior two. So with control, bringing our back leg down, bending our right knee again, back to warrior two. Good. So from here now, let's just step forward with our back leg, our left leg, come back to mountain, hands at heart center at the front of our mat. Release our hands down and just shake it out. 